me some wolves, got the pack and it's both. Wish you would pick the slack, cause it's loose. Get the bag, pop the tag, then we both. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. That song in the intro and the outro is actually my song. You can find a link down in the description. And if you want to check out how I made this song, I already did a video on that too. Now let's get into the video. Real quick though, I did want to say that we're getting close to 1,000 subs. So if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. So today I wanted to just do a quick video regarding The Weeknd and his upcoming Super Bowl halftime show. So if you didn't know, The Weeknd will be performing at this year's Super Bowl in Tampa, Florida this Sunday. Now, the Super Bowl halftime show is one of the biggest concerts of the year, as the Super Bowl is frequently the most watched television broadcast of the year. But one thing to note is that the performing acts don't actually get paid for their performance. However, the NFL does cover the usual production costs for the show, which is somewhere in the realm of $10 million each year. There's always a complex stage setup, over-the-top lighting and effects, a firework display, and all of that exciting stuff. So despite not getting paid for the actual performance, Super Bowl headliners always see crazy spikes in their streams, which in the end, puts a lot of money in their pocket. For example, Justin Timberlake performed during the 2018 Super Bowl halftime show, and that same day his music sales rose by 534%. And then the following week, his album shot up to the number one spot on the US Billboard 200. In 2019, Maroon 5 saw its sales spike by 488%, and Lady Gaga's digital catalog increased by more than 1000% after her 2017 performance. And considering the fact that commercials during the Super Bowl cost millions of dollars for 30 second ads, I doubt The weekend really minds not getting paid for performing for 13 minutes. So getting back to the fact that Abel is dropping 7 million of his own dollars for this performance, it's in order to quote, make this halftime show be what he envisioned. We've been really focusing on dialing in on the fans at home and making this performance a cinematic experience. So what that will look like, I'm not too sure. We'll just have to wait until Sunday to find out. But I know I am very excited to see what The weekend has planned for his biggest performance ever. Will he bring any guests out? And what songs will he decide to play? His latest album, After Hours, was one of the biggest releases of last year and sold 444k in its first week. And I also ranked it as number 4 on my top albums of 2020 list. But let me also remind you again, it somehow was not nominated for a single Grammy. But The Weeknd has so many hits and is truly a great live performer. So while I may be a little biased because I am a big fan of him, I really think this has the potential to be one of the best halftime shows we've ever seen. However, due to COVID, there will only be about 22,000 fans there in attendance. So while it would be even better to see it in front of a packed crowd, that isn't really possible during these times. But regardless, I think The Weeknd will put on a great show, and I can't wait to watch it. And I don't think I've ever shown you guys, but that poster hanging on my wall in the intros of my videos is actually a signed Heartless poster. Pretty fire, right? So that'll do it for this video on the weekend's upcoming Super Bowl halftime performance. Are you guys excited to watch him perform? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please be sure to drop a like on this video and also hit that subscribe button for me. We some wolves got the pack and it's both. Wish you would pick the slack cause it's loose. Get the bag, pop the tag, then we both. Never brag, hit the bag, then I loose. We some wolves got the pack and it's both. Wish you would pick the slack cause it's loose Get the bag, pop the tag, then we